Skateboarding trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Wow. All right. Shalom and welcome to another episode of Rock for a Pillow. I'm Autumn and I'm here with Kenny, Bremen, Will, and Derek. Hey. And today our topic is Believers in Trump's America. Um, so I'm going to ask Did any of you guys watch the State of the Union address last week? No. We just said. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. I watched I watched like some some clips and like some sound bites of it. Um, uh, so so so, kind of kind of kind of yeah okay. yeah kind of yes. I did end up watching the whole thing. It um it was if you're a if you're a diehard Trump supporter like it it, it would have excited you. I think it, um, Trump put it across <laughs> um, some great stats, some very encouraging stats. Yes. So, <laughs> um, but um so you said you read so so I guess I'll ask you Bremen what okay. uh, did you. What things did you take away from it, or what things stood out to you from what you mentioned? So, what I saw on on the um, State of the Union address on um, the S O T U mm-hmm. for those hip hop talks, <laughs> um, I saw like Trump, like you know, he was he was he was just you know he was he was tooting his horn. He was playing the same song about you know um, uh, about the border wall, yes. about immigration. Mm-hmm about how like you know how like he has been the catalyst for like the lowest unemployment rates mm-hmm. among African Americans, among Hispanics, among Asian Americans, among the handicapped mm-hmm. out there. So Trump was Trump was was just like, you know, Trump Trump was trumping his own his own horn. Um, <laughs> like, like 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 how he always does. And um and so yeah, so yeah it was it was him. Um and I I I believe that and y'all can correct me in the YouTube comments, that he was he was trying to like reach across the aisle and try to get some like uh, some like bipartisanship going yeah. to reach over to Democrats and say, hey, okay, maybe we can find a happy medium for the wall. But I still want my wall. <laughs> yes. like, he's, like he wants the wall, no question about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's 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 what I gathered so far from the um, from the from the State of the Union address. The yeah. S-O-U, S-O-T-U. yeah he, it was a lot of that. Um, I think he I used think he used the word unity, um, trying to oh, evoke yes. that. Um, like the parties working together just to yeah. do what they need to do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, and I think that's kind of where um, his stance is overall. It's mm-hmm. just trying to do what's best for the country, and yeah. like he really just doesn't care what um, what what anybody has to say about about where he's headed and his vision. I guess Trump really does. He really doesn't care because Trump has set a record. The government was shut down for like thirty plus days. Yeah. And that is going to show you like how much this dude like he like he, he he wants the wall like there is nobody like he was in the White House by himself and like <laughs> all the all the TSA agents were like were like laid off nobody was working so yeah so so he so, so like he just doesn't care and like he really wants the wall and he like stressed and highlighted that point um, during the uh, the um, the uh, union um, address that he gave. What do you, can I ask? What do you guys think about the wall? Do you have any opinions on it? That's he. Uh, I have an opinion, but I want to let y'all. I want to let y'all, 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 y'all go ahead. Y'all go first. Well, I think I can. I can go first. Okay. Go ahead. It's not, Will. it's not relevant to me anyway. <laughs> okay. But I just want to give my you know personal you know view okay. of that. Give your um, give your two shekels. Go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think I think you know we talk about you know especially. Rima, you asked me about you know the the China Wall, yes, like the Great Wall, wall right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so. Uh, the the way I see it is like you know, having a wall is uh, I think every country should have a wall or you know you know or any kind of you know protection you know uh, prevent prevention from other people like you know, illegal people coming into the land. Mm-hmm. I think that's good a good thing to do. You know I I'm personally supporting Trump <laughs> uh, even though I'm not a citizen you know a U.S. citizen and, and mm-hmm. actually he he trying to like you know uh, make it harder for. For, for you know uh, the uh, the people not not American to stay here, but mm-hmm. I'm still you know uh, appreciate what he's doing. You know, trying to make a great America great again. Mm-hmm. You're setting up the mm-hmm. wall. You know, a lot of people you know uh, debate about it, but you know, I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think with uh, I think he's gone through. I th- I think he's gone through a lot of trouble of kind of. 
almost demonizing the people that are coming over and it's like if he doesn't make it an issue people people won't stand behind them like oh i didn't need this wall everything's fine and so he kind of has to I don't know, maybe put a little overkill on <laughs> the issue and the, the people who are coming in and what issues are bringing with them. Yeah. I guess I would have to see like actual facts on mm-hmm. um, crime from from resulting from immigration. So I yeah, guess I don't know. yeah, very true. Go, 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 go ahead. That's kind of funny. I mean, I, I don't know if crime resulting from immigration yeah. could be a deterrent because the nature of America. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, the United States, not America. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the wall. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the way it's presented is what uh, deters so many people. Is like uh, you know, like this. We gotta stop these. You know, you know these these Mexicans from calling yeah. across the, the line. Caravan. <laughs> these these caravans. Yeah, they're, they're dealing their drugs and they're, <laughs> they're just they're messing up everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I think that might be that that's <laughs> more of the issue. Yeah. And the, yeah. uh, I think I don't you know. Uh, but it's kind of funny. I don't think the United States can really stand for like fighting against illegal immigration. It's just eh. it's kind of uh-huh. kind of like it's kind of it's kind of mm-hmm. it's kind of like uh it's kind of like oh, wait, let me not say that joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, kind of, it's just impossible. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, I think um, I wonder how the wall helps taxes though. I don't know. I I I I, I think mm. I think the wall helps taxes in a way, but um, also. Um, I think it does but i think every president has uh fought for border security mm-hmm. it's just the way he's he going puts, about it yeah. that is just a term but every every president has said you know let's be more secure oh mm-hmm. yeah for sure absolutely the one thing about the wall that intrigued me the most uh he threw out some statistic um the one in three women that makes the trek to cross the border is sexually assaulted mm. along the way oh, yeah. yeah you know it, it's like uh, it's a treacherous journey lots of people die mm. and and all sorts of terrible stuff like that mm-hmm. so yeah. i was curious how much truth there was to that to that statement mm-hmm. you know yeah because then it makes them sound like a saint in a way it's like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm protecting people yeah you know because i did watch a documentary on how hard it is to get to the, to the to the, cross the border, it's not easy in yeah, any yeah. sort of way. Like well, if you, yeah. for me, it's like if they make it this far, give them a bottle of water and send them home. Like, <laughs> you, know, you know, it shouldn't be right. like this. Okay, listen to me. Right I know it took a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm sending you back. You know, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to, in the United States mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You read you read you. I was listening to um, is a is a uh, radio DJ um, Bob Duco. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, on um, the light, and Bob Duca was like, you know, he's a he he's a staunch Trump President Trump fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you know, so I was like, you know, just this black I was in my car, you know, doing my lunch break and whatnot. And Bob Duca was like, um, you know, well, Trump's building this wall, and like this is this. He's like, this is so biblical. It's you know, it's so biblical that Trump is doing this. And what he brought up, he brought up, he brought up Nehemiah, oh. um, two. Uh, like, like, like verse, you can go, you can go verse 17, how like Nehemiah was like rebuilding the wall of, of, of Jerusalem. Yeah. And how he was saying that, you know, like he's saying like, you know, well, without a wall, you, you know, we're vulnerable to attack. We're vulnerable exactly. to like foreigners who want to do us harm to like, you know, uh, to like, you know, um, and, and that, that can cause more domestic terrorism. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was like, yeah, so we, we, we need this wall. And so he was, he was like, he was like kind of comparing Trump to like, to like, like Nick and Maya and like saying like, you know, like this is a very noble thing that mm-hmm. Trump is doing, which I've uh, like, like that was very, very interesting to me to, to hear that, um, to hear him build the wall. Um, as far as like how, how I feel about, you know, um, like border security, um, you know, I mean, look, if, if you, if you have to build a wall, um, you know, by all means do it. Mm-hmm. I just find it very interesting that the wall, like, like Trump has, and when you look at Trump's tweets, mm-hmm. like, he he flip flops like 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 a lot, <laughs> and because at one point it was a you know it was a wall, the next day it was like steel slabs, and then the back then going back to being a wall, mm-hmm. and so like like so it's like he was like arguing with himself and like and we got to see that like in real time, and so um that was you know that was that, that was like like fun for me to see, mm-hmm. um but yeah so as far as the wall I mean hey if if, if he wants whatever he wants like you say all presidents have fought for border security Obama administration all the administrations yeah. The way Trump Trump is going about it in a very Trumpian way, uh, Trump. yeah, yeah, in a in a very bold, bomb, bomb, bombastic um, reality show way, mm. yeah. yeah. 
Uh, well, let's back up a little bit. What were um, everyone's reactions when um, Trump was campaigning for the presidency? He's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought he was going to win. No question. I mean, he, he promised no everything Trump promised. I think he's delivered on. I mean, he said that he'll be different. Check. Yeah. He'll be like, no, <laughs> he'll be like nobody yeah. else before. Check. <laughs> you know, he's going to build a wall. People thought he was joking. He's working on it. Check. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, going to lower taxes and, and make uh, America's economy better mm-hmm. in the sense of uh, when it comes to the, on the trade. He's accomplishing that. Check. I mean. For the major points that I think he said, I mean, he, hey, I thought, and, and he had, and he had a little taste of, hmm, a little taste of racism. <laughs> yeah, all oh, for for sure, and, and that was a great sure. recipe for everything. <laughs> for sure, yes, yes, for sure. I just had fun watching the montages of him insulting people in the debates. <laughs> <laughs> look at them! Look at them! <laughs> he knows nothing. Yeah. No, he, he, it was man. Yeah, like um, yeah, seeing seeing Trump run uh, for president, um, he is like like dude has he has no filter. He is like like he's like he says whatever he wants. I I think I think he even said when he was on the campaign trail that like I think I think he he, he was, I think he was in like New York that like I can shoot somebody and still get elected, and like nobody said anything <laughs> about that. Yeah, like check it out on YouTube. And like said nobody that. said anything about that, and I'm like, wow, this dude is very bold. He he he, he just may win. Wow. Um, yeah, so like just just seeing him, to me, he was also like a, a breath of fresh air mm-hmm. because like he mm-hmm. he 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 doesn't like pl- he's he's not a politician. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a he's a real estate mogul billionaire. He came from this is this is this is celebrity apprentice. This is the dude who made the apprentice. <laughs> And 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 he's parlaying this <laughs> into running the White House, yeah. right, and like yeah. he has no filter, like like he's to my knowledge, like he's not bought out by lobbyists, no no super PACs, yeah. he's like bankrolling himself, yeah. and so yeah, so he, he's like he's 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 very different, yeah. he's very he, he, he's 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 a uh, unique, he's very yeah. different and unique. Uh, I mean, uh, I think it'll be because he's a businessman, he's he set his mind to anything that he want to accomplish, yeah. and that's different from the. Politicians, the politician, you have to be like concerned with the blah politics, and yeah. then sometimes you know you, you he does not care. You might want to yeah. accomplish something, but care. you know no. it's it, it when it comes to action, you know you mm. politicians might not you know just just step on it and do it. Yeah, but but he does. He that's and then another thing about Trump, I don't think he's part of the royal. I mean the the bloodline. He's not part of like uh, the bloodline of presidents, which was very interesting. You know, and then also gotta gotta remember. I think he does have interest though. His uh, his uh, son-in-law is a uh, Jared, Jared Kushner. Kushner. Like, yeah, come Jared on Kushner. now, <laughs> like Jared Kushner, your son-in-law. Okay, some somebody's hand been shook. <laughs> yeah, Ivanka. She, I mean, she looked good, but she. I mean, I don't, yeah, he for sure added uh, uh, something fun to the whole election process <laughs> <laughs> definitely man sure. yes yes political theater 101 oh yes and i would even say i'll even go to say is that uh, our society bred is bred for a trumpian to mm. to to exist like as president because i mean i don't know when reality TV, after flavor flav like, <laughs> reality tv shows took such a uh a great root in our society. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. In, in China, was reality TV shows like even big? Well, uh, we we do have a re- reality a reality show. Reality show. Yes. You yes. do do. Okay. Yeah, so I like, even watched the uh, uh, Apprentice. You know. Oh, you uh, did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, Me too. I, yeah, so I watched the whole cool. series. The whole series. <laughs> I was a big fan. See, look, if it's reaching to China, like everybody's bred for Trump to exist. And now it's like this. When he comes, it's like this. Oh, of course, I want to watch it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this, I'm gonna vote for him because I can't. I'm, like it was like this. All Hillary Clinton, and like at the end, she was just fighting like this. I'm gonna go to war. I promise you, I'm gonna go to war. <laughs> and Trump was like this. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> look at her. Hey, <laughs> now look at her. You know, check so, the emails. She, yeah. she <laughs> lost. She lost the battle of right, yeah. reality TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and I think I think there was like mixed reactions. I think the media definitely pushed. I think I think I feel like a lot of people I knew personally, most people I spoke to, were like, um, 
either like super excited or just like downright devastated i remember um <laughs> and i think the media pushed um i think a media push well for sure like the information that was leaked about like just derogatory comments he made um during his campaign yeah and they were they kind of pulled those out kind of at the the last minute and it was just like oh my gosh how is this guy even running yeah. but um so i think like what do you like what what like from the people you guys knew like what kind of what kind of conversations did you have with people like what were their reactions i would say most people were disgusted yeah. with it um and then i think this is a good uh place to uh bring it bring up the whataboutism of uh you know what about hillary <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like it's it's uh I, there's a comedian bill burr that made a joke about hillary like they asked him after soon after the election was over like what do you think about you know blah blah, blah. and he's like it's like honestly i don't feel bad for you it's like you play a football game and the other team fumbled the ball like 20 times and you're just like oh, <laughs> did it manage to get the win like how did you do that <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. And, and I mean, uh, it it does uh, remind me of like it's kind of a there's there's something deeper it happening to society where public discourse um, is just degrades down to like such base you know forms as mm-hmm. as it exists today. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like there was. Uh, the news about that Fox host Tucker Carlson mm. coming out and trying to say that you know we need to um, like take a step back and re- try to figure out why Trump got elected, mm. you know, and, and solve those problems. You have you have like the the middle class like family is falling apart. You know, mm. you got the divorce rates are co- going up and up and up, and and you have um, uh, people is losing their faith. At, at a mm. breakneck clip, um, and then which is giving way to like opioid epi- epidemics. Mm. Ah, yeah. The the income inequality gap is growing at an exponential rate, mm-hmm. and so you have this like stew of problems, mm-hmm. which all leads to somebody like Trump getting elected. Mm. And he he was viewing it. I thought it was quite interesting as you know it's a symptom of the way that society is now today and if you don't take heed to the to the warning so to speak mm. you know like the harbinger you're gonna have you know problems down the road it's just gonna get more and more populous and it's gonna culminate in something terrible like world war ii or something like that mm-hmm. you know yeah. that's so, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, i was gonna say so like the 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 climate of the society mm-hmm. helps determine like who's running and who gets elected yeah, like the the most extreme person gets elected, like on you got <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio Cortez on the other side, oh, yeah. who is just as extreme, just on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. And you have Trump on this one, and that those are like the two. Because she's a socialist, right? Like, yeah, she, she's yeah. like so yeah, she's mm-hmm. like socialist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, card carrying one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes indeed. Yeah, when I um like the conversation that the the, the post Trump election conversations that I had, um, I just remember like when Trump got into the office and um, back then I was, I was, I was working at, at, a, at a movie theater and like when I walked in, like, like it was, it was like, it was, it was like, it was like a, a picture of America's reaction, like as a, as a snapshot. Like some of my coworkers were like, were like, um, like, oh man, this is terrible. Like, what are we gonna do? Like America, America fumbled the ball again. But the other, my, some of my other coworkers were like, yes, we did it. Trump is in the, he, he's in the White House. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we you know, we, we got a man. We took back the White House, and so um, there was a there was a a, a very like like M, there was a mixed reaction. Um, for me, I don't you know it it didn't really like 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 make me happy or sad. Mm-hmm. Like I'm 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 no Democrat. I'm not a Republican. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not a third partier. Mm-hmm. Um, although many of my coworkers thought that I was you know going for Bernie because he was Jewish and they and they thought that I was Jewish. Mm-hmm. It was like it was the burn, Bremen. It was the burn, buddy. Right. Um, but yeah, like so, like you know, um, so yeah, so I I was like not like like shook by it. Um, I just really think that you know that 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 y'all put him there, mm-hmm. and like really, man, like it's a it's a great thing to see Trump like in the wild because like. We're, we're we're really getting to see like the um the the, the underbelly of America, yeah. and 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 it's like it, Trump is like he's like 
he's like helping us have have those, those bigger conversations that that, that that we should have been having during Obama the Obama administration like you know it was it was it was it was you know peaceful relatively peaceful you know during a, it, it was it was it was it was it was an eight year massage and then when you get Trump in there you know it's like it's like he, he like like woke us up it's like okay well so America still has some work to do I think I I know I went to class uh, the day after election day mm-hmm. and I it, it was a political science class actually and I walk in oh, okay. and it was like it was just like like it looked like everyone was in mourning like someone had died. <laughs> right. and I was and, they, and, ashes, they, and I heard people fasting. like didn't go to work like called off were just in their rooms crying and I was like <laughs> my goodness <laughs> but I agree like it didn't make me like neither happy or sad it's just like, sad it's just like okay this is what we got let's see what happens you know yeah. and I think I think I didn't expect him to do um, terribly as far like I, like like um, I agree that he's doing a lot of things at, like at almost all the things he said he was gonna do. Mm-hmm, so it's like maybe he's not the most tactful or the most eloquent in speech, but it's like he's <laughs> he's working. Like that's, yeah, yeah. that's how he became who he is. Also, yeah. one last quick point: I really thought that America was gonna like 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 wanting to to make history again. You had the first African president in Barack Obama. I also thought they were gonna have the first female president in Hillary yeah, Clinton. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was I was thinking that you know millennials were gonna go out, Generation Zers, like 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 our, our peers were gonna go out. But um, but yeah, but we we see we have the um, you know, reality star yeah. in in, in uh, chief. But I but my my thing to that is everybody did go out and everybody actually voted for Hillary Clinton if we go by the majority yeah. vote. Mm-hmm. It's the the problem. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> Say it with your chest. <laughs> You know, the problem, the problem is the electoral college and the uh, assumption that people uh, can't vote in their own best interests. You know, that the electoral college has to be that barrier, that buffer to ensure that the people vote yeah. what's best for them. But truthfully, you know, the like, electoral college is it's like it's just a big game. And that's one of the reasons why I personally didn't vote it. One of them. But is it, that it's just, it just seems it's just it's just a big game. It's like, OK, so you're telling me that the person the electoral representative can vote against his people's his or hers people's interests interest. then what's the point mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it doesn't make sense because it's not a democracy it's not it's a democracy it's a republic democratic republic it's like this somebody's That's like true, this though. oh we can't we can't uh, we can't let the electoral college happen because you know i mean we can't leave the electoral college because people in california the majority of the country are, are going to <laughs> are going to vote against what everybody else wants like I don't know, it doesn't make <laughs> yeah. sense to me. I mean, we're just a whole bunch of countries glued together. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, glued by reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, what do you guys think uh, Trump does bring to the table? Hmm. Candor, <laughs> honesty. Um, Trump, like man, like Trump. Trump is like he is probably one of one of my one of my most like favorite like presidents to watch when it comes to like interacting with like foreign dignitaries yeah. mm-hmm. because it's like especially the dynamic between him and Putin mm-hmm. is like you know it's like that's his that's his buddy from like from like kindergarten like like they they they've always been like 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 buddy buddy and like there is there is no double speak with Trump there is like like there is no like he he's a he's a straight shooter and like he yeah. he, he he just brings he brings his his idea to the, to the table and whether you like it or not he is he is he is that stiff neck mm-hmm. where he will just like you know just just plow through execute. um yeah yeah, yeah execute. plow through that executed yeah so he, he he brings he brings honesty yeah mm-hmm. he brings mm-hmm. honesty to uh to to to, to the table yeah, I don't really care about you know uh, what he says, you know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, he he does say something you know, that's improper, you know, maybe some some vulgar language, right? Yeah, but, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but you know, uh, uh, to me, you know, so I I look at his action, you know, what what he does, yeah. and he he does he, he does accomplish what he promised. And even some of the things items still on the list, and then he he's you know facing a lot of difficulty, but still he he's on his way. You know, he trying to get those, you know, items, you know, uh, um, you know, <laughs> all <laughs> really or accomplish, yeah. and um, it that's what that's my impression about Trump. You know, is he 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 is a, a, a person who 
carry out what he says and you know and also like when it comes to the the the, the battle between US and China mm. you, know, you guys Talk probably don't know it. too much about it but I've been That's really you know, <laughs> you know keep an eye on the what's going on between yeah. China and, and US mm, for sure. and through through what I found is you know what uh, uh, he has a serious battle with all present and uh, it's, it's a lot he 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 take a lot of actions really trying to do he he doesn't give any break <laughs> to the whole country to no, uh, no wiggle room. <laughs> yeah, and, and right. He he, he he really you know restrict our economy mm-hmm. and that you know that no one has done before, like before him, like Obama, it was pretty easy. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm. You know, uh, even though I'm China uh, Chinese Chinese, right? I, I, I want my country to uh, to excel, right? To be the top right. of the world. <laughs> Yeah, but from the American perspective, you know, from the Trump's perspective, I think he, what he's trying to do in his will is to, to make the uh, U.S. A, a great again. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know, he 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 really want to do something instead mm-hmm. of just okay, just, just bring up some ideas, and not doing anything. Yeah. So, can I ask you, Will? Do you think Trump like is creating friction with China because like you know when you buy almost anything, it's like made in China. Mm-hmm. So like, do you think like Trump because he wants things to be like, m- like he wants more American-made products? Yep. Mm-hmm. Did you talk okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So 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 you think that's that's because like China is like our our main competitor. Right. Yes. When it go, I mean you. I mean I don't know. I mean that that's. I mean that's probably made in China too. So like, anything you look at, <laughs> I think it's, you guys it's, are the are the uh, uh, purveyors of it. Uh, I think the 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 beginning of the trade war mm. result you know result from the uh, the economy battle. Mm-hmm. Because Trump was trying to crack, you know, crash down on our economy. Yes, that's what he was trying to. do. But now, it shifts to a military battle. Ah. It's like you know, it's it, it's interesting, you know, how, interesting. How, how they play the games. You know, um, yeah. they they started with with, with, with the f- economy, and then now they shift to the military, it's trying crazy. to trying to you know uh, 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 to uh, they, they c- compare the military power mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. two parties and between two countries. And to you know, but make make us look you know <laughs> worse. You know, yeah, it's, it, it's very interesting, you know, oh, thing. So, politics, anyways, man. I'm not a you know politician. I I don't I don't know too much politics. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that, that kind of leads to another question. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you think um, Trump? How do you think Trump looks to other countries outside of the U.S.? Um, I'd say it depends <laughs> on the <laughs> country's <laughs> culture. Okay. You know, like, um, like it would probably look terrible to Europe. <laughs> yeah. Kind of that loud, abrasive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. very true, very true. But, and then there might be other culture who would see value in a dominant, like a domineering mm. personality as a leader. Do you, do you remember how uh, Europe, like, like welcomed Trump? Like, they, they, they made, like, a big baby balloon, Trump balloon? No. Oh, was man. That, what? Is that, oh, really? what country is that? Britain? Yeah, it was Britain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 uh, they made like a big Trump balloon and said, you know, like, like, like Trump is a baby or he wants his way. And like, um, they were, they was like floating around this huge, like he, he was in a diaper and just floating throughout, throughout Britain. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And then they, they were like, you know, um, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Okay. <laughs> I think he kind of perfectly represents the United States culture. Yes. How so, dear? <laughs> I just How think so? he does. I mean, I just listen to me. I, I like agree, Trump, because uh, I just feel like he stirs a pot of people's hidden emotions and makes people have to address what they really feel. Right. And I like it. I listen to me. It's the craziest thing in the uh, United States culture uh, where, when at least corporate world or whatnot, where people are like, this, oh, how are you doing, Will? But like, you know, like, like <laughs> or, Autumn Bremen, uh, Kenny, oh, it's a pleasure to meet all of you guys today. Pleasure. Yeah, and, 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 but, but, but they're just straight up lying. Like, right. they, are, they are lying through Behind the back, you know. Trump is like this. Yeah, wait, say, no, no, go ahead. Trump is just like, don't like you, don't like you. Right. Like, oh, right. Yes. <laughs> you need my money, I won't give it. <laughs> you know, it, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, and then it, because people see somebody being so upfront, at least, Maybe I don't know. Maybe he is lying about mm-hmm. how upfront he is. I don't know. It could, it could be a definitely could be a cover of how upfront he's being. But it seems yeah. like he's being pretty upfront, right. and it just allows other people to say, "I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way. <laughs> oh my God, I feel that way." <laughs> <laughs> so which one is better? You know, the people who like hide their. I think it's subtle. Or, I think or I think it's people. I mean, at the wisdom says to 
to be subtle about the way that you go about things, mm-hmm. you know, but that's to come to a resolve. Mm-hmm. People hide their feelings and they don't want to resolve. They just want right, to hide. Yeah, that's right. So, so I think it's good to just let it out in this case. Well, as long as it doesn't have a snowball effect of other people just jumping on the bandwagon <laughs> to say, <six. laughs> right. I want to do this too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, you're right. So, um, you know, Trump now, it, 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 well, in China, mm-hmm. people don't like him, okay. obviously. Oh. Yeah. You know, he, uh, what, what he's doing make us look really bad, you know, and, and, and bring us, bring our economy down. Mm-hmm. People's lives kind of get affected. That's mm-hmm. why, you know, people don't. People don't really want him to uh, to continue well to be elected again, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, 20, yeah. 20, yeah. I just had a you know, conversation with my friend the the other night, mm-hmm. and he he was completely like you know, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know cursing. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean it's uh, <laughs> at least from a Chinese perspective, you know, people don't really want him to to be the Trump, uh, to, to be the president again. But I personally like him, you know. Yeah, Trump um, was like he was like the the big headline was he was looking at like like third world countries, and like he like called them a bad name and like that got headlines, yeah. and um so like 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 man like he is like like no other there was like no no like no like euphemism he could use no like fluffy <laughs> word no like easy on the ears he just he just says he says what's on his mind there's no filter yeah so we know how he feels about third world countries and and like he was he was using them mm-hmm. to like to again to push his wall agenda yeah. of like you have people who are who are in these slums in third world countries they're you know backpacking you know drugs and everything like that trying you know trying trying to you know um, you know, you have a caravan that's that that that's like you know that's like trying to get into America and you know trying to like you know uh, corrupt America, which is interesting. Um, so he he was just looking at third world countries and saying that yeah we we need we need this wall, guys. Look, right. if I, I don't I, I don't care if if you're a blue Democrat, you bleed blue, you bleed red. If you you bleed purple, we need this wall built. And so we we know how we know how he feels about like. About 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 states that are that are not called the United States of America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, going back to something you said about uh, Bremen about um, parties. You said you don't. You said so. Would you qualify yourself as like a, a I don't know, nonpartisan? You say you're not a Democrat, not a Republic. Uh, okay. I am. I am. <laughs> I am so without glad you. you asked this question. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing host. Um. I would call myself a a theocrat because what a, what a theocrat, theocrat is is that I never heard that word. A, a, a break it down. A basically what a, so a theocrat is like you know somebody who wants who who is championing and cheering for the theocracy of 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 Yah's kingdom. So I'm you know I'm just just like how Messiah said he said you know when he was um you know he was questioned by Pontius Pilate it's like okay um there's they're all here screaming that 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 you're king of the Jews um where's your kingdom. My kingdom is not of this world, and so Pontius Pilate was like, "Okay, this dude is crazy, but I, don't, I find no, I find no fault in him." So yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I don't wave, you know, the American flag, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't champion any flag. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm all for, because I believe that you know only Yah's kingdom, kingdom will bring in that true world peace that that we all want. Ultimately, I mean, no matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, third party, or we all want, we all want, you know, the same things: happiness, world peace, you know, yes. poverty to be done away with. And so I just so I, I um, think that the only kingdom that's going to do that is, you guessed it, <laughs> Yah's kingdom. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think I don't know if you guys want to share too, um, but I um, yeah I guess I can't really hold to any party because I feel like I have because if you pick one then it's like like even if you guys go back and watch the uh, the State of the Union address and so you got the Democrats thing on one side and Republicans on the other and so it's like certain things Trump would say is like for almost everything well no pretty much everything the, the Republicans <laughs> oh, yeah. would stand up and clap like every two sentences they had oh, they like they yeah. stood up and they would applaud and so it's like he would like blink and they would clap yeah and it's like it's like picking a side picks your stance on certain issues like there were some, there were some Democrats that would stand up and clap for certain issues but it's like I can't I don't want to hold to a party because I don't think one party is perfect. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Totally Definitely. not. Totally not. But but I think you know we 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 still need a vote for 
which whichever part you're gonna bring the country uh, back to what you know what you're supposed to you know uh, what, what y'all wants what, mm-hmm. what y'all wills I think that's that's the the uh, least we can do mm-hmm. you know because otherwise if you don't vote you you, you would just allow the evil to, to you know to prevail mm-hmm. and you know right <laughs> if you if you know yeah. what I'm talking about I believe in voting on local levels ah, not on presidential the, levels okay <laughs> and i don't i think like for me it's like uh i believe ah, i'm kind of <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm kind of more so i'm kind of more so for uh with voting on policy than voting on people, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Even though some people I know that they're running, like I know the people. I'm like, man, I'm so ha- I really am. I'm happy that you're doing it. I just feel convicted, like that I can't. Yeah, I can't vote for you, man. Yeah, yeah. expand on that. Like, why is yeah. that? Because you, it's like the the father has. He wants me to operate in one way. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If I vote for you and you don't operate in the way of the father. Mm-hmm then I'm going against the father in my mindset. Mm. And, I, and, and I know I'm going to be held convicted of that. So say, for instance, you, I don't know, you the father wants Johnny to skip once. And you say, no, Johnny, you skip twice. And and then you take your campaign and you run and you promote it. By me voting for you, I'm promoting something that is against the father. And mm. and, I, and, and that, that that has to sit with me. Yeah. And I don't want that. Yeah, I see. I mean, like, you know, Will, you brought up a great point. You know, um, both of y'all brought up, brought up great points. Um, when, I, when I think about, when I read scripture, you know, um, like, it's, it's very interesting for me to see, like, when you have Israelites in the diaspora, you have Daniel. Yeah. And Daniel is like, 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 I mean, you have Yosef, too. Like, you know, y'all, like, rose them to positions mm-hmm. of, of power. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they were kind of like, you know, you know, playing politics. Yeah. You know, when you look at Yosef, you look at Daniel. Um, you know, and you look at even uh, uh, Nehemiah earlier. Like, like, like he was the the cupbearer to the king. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that's a that's 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 such a coveted position mm-hmm. because that means that that means that one that the, the, the king trusts you enough because yeah. he wants you to check his cup mm-hmm. to make sure that you know there's no poison in it. Right. You know how I mean? So, so, so it, it, it's, it's very interesting to me to see y'all like like raise them up into um, positions of power to kind of like to kind of like you know um, play 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 politics a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think it's an interesting balance. Like you have um, evidence on both sides. Like when Israel asked for a king, uh, Yah was not yeah. very happy with them. <laughs> yeah. You know, like how did that go? <laughs> and and you know, in those examples that you cited. It, they're, those are monarchies, mm-hmm. and you, as far as I know, there were no dem- democracies that existed. No. And when when the first mm-hmm. couple of kings were anointed in Israel, it was somewhat of a democratic process. Like after Saul and his children were um, mm-hmm. killed in battle, mm-hmm. and they anointed David king, the whole country wanted him to be king. Yeah. You know, yeah. because he was their champion yeah. in the army, his and everybody loved awesome. him. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't think that, you know, um, the, you know, the citizens would have accepted his reign right. if he didn't have, you know, their support. Yeah. Kind of similar, like when his son tried to, um, yeah, Absalom, tried to mutiny him. Mm-hmm. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he had to, he so had to gather a following of people. Yeah, you know, so mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's quite interesting. It um, is. Yeah. I think you, you know. Um, Father want want to uh, want to have a leader on this world, especially he, his his nation, his kingdom. Well, in other words, Israel or whoever you know, follow his way, Torah, mm-hmm. to uh, represent him as the light of the world. And if we have a good leader, then you know we we should you know support him and vote for vote for him. You know, and that's what happened to the uh, the whole Israel's history. When you when you have a great leaders, mm-hmm. you know he bring. Bring the country back, the nation back to Yahweh, and mm. the nation uh, prospers. And when Sorry. when you have you know terrible, evil <laughs> evil leaders, then it's it's horrible. You know the whole nation go go downhill. Yeah. Eventually f- facing you know Yah's judgment. So yeah. I think it is important you know to to uh, to pick the good leader, and 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 I think it it doesn't conflict with with the. Um, with you know what Yah originally wants, you know he want himself to be the king over his people, but yeah. yet people select, you know, trying trying to pick a man to to be the leader. Yes, and it 
I, I don't find that's a problem with the system as long as we have good leaders like King King David. If we have a leader like King David or, or Yeshua, yeah. then, then yeah. it's great things. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh -huh. You know, it's mm. it because it ultimately the king represents the king above him yes, <laughs> in the yes. heavens. Yeah. So that's what you know that um, th that's what I see in Trump is you know he he trying to bring bring the nation back. To mm -hmm. Yahweh, you know, maybe he's not perfect. He's not perfect, but <laughs> at least he tried yeah, to bring bring the nation from the one wrong direction back. You know, repent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, very true. Very true. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I love how in scripture, um, it's like yeah. I think when um, they were anointing the first king or, or one of those first kings, and um, the prophet or Yahuwah tells the people that um, they're like, oh yeah, like kind of listing out. Um, all things that uh like the rules for a king yep. and he's like yes. yeah he's got to have uh, like a copy of the torah because it's like this yeah. is going to be mm -hmm. what he uses as his moral compass to lead the entire nation and that's, like, i, I wish that's, thought about that's, it that that's, way. that's their constitution yeah exactly. that's, that's yes. the constitution mm -hmm. you know yeah is it yeah. is that our constitution too <laughs> yes. Oh, yes it's our constitution oh, right. tell the people <laughs> Isn't that a constitution from a heavenly, well, heavenly kingdom? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, and more yes. 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 <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, I never really thought about it in the way like, uh, like, uh, since we, re since we've rejected Yah Yahuwah as our king, mm -hmm. then the, the manly king has to do the same as Yahuwah would. Exactly, yes. Mm. It's impossible though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it's, exactly. You know, it's like it doesn't. That's a lofty standard. It's a lofty standard. So you need to re. You need to write your own Torah for yourself mm. and know it. Mm. How much better than the Most High to do that than the man? Mm. So it's like it's just yeah. it's just it's bound for failure. Yes, yeah. man, true, very true. That's deep. Yeah, wow, well, I never thought um, of that. So kind of on that same track. Okay. Um, if you go to uh, White House I go. You'll see that it's <laughs> the list there um, that it says uh, the Trump administration stands for religious freedom. And then it goes into detail kind of about some things um, yes. that they support um, concerning, I would say, um, I would say mostly like Christian beliefs. So like what, I don't know how much you guys know about it, but does it, does that statement bring you comfort in any kind of way? Um, I, um, Go ahead. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword for me yes yeah because religious freedom means that people are free to worship idols if they want you know which is going to bring wrath on the land uh, and then but then it also means that if if things go that way you are you know supposedly guaranteed your rights to still worship yeah um, in the land without persecution but you know it's is that really the way it's going to pan out it's hard to believe because especially when the scripture says that you you will be persecuted in end times for your belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or not not just in end times, but you know, yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I believe you know what we we I, I think we do need to have a uh, religious freedom in, in this country, but <laughs> but there's a bottom line like you, you you gotta establish the nation's religion like you know, which religion you your the nation uh, mm. be following, mm -hmm. and and that way it's it will be safe because all the constitution, all the laws that that you know the the partitions you know were established gonna be well, mm. ideally should have revolved around that religion, mm -hmm. and I think I think they will be safe even though other religion in this nation they they wanna bring their um, religion right mm -hmm. in, into this nation. But uh, because because you know people have free will, we, mm -hmm. yeah. we can't really um, destroy their free will. That that's not what what Yah wants, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. and that that's actually uh, kind of breaking his, his Torah, so, as far as I see. But mm -hmm. but that's my perspective. We we we, we, we should have uh, religious freedom, and then that's how we draw people into uh, the true religion. So, but at the same time, you, you gotta establish a foundation for this nation, which mm -hmm. religion you follow. In, in this case, we, we need to know uh, which constitution that they would follow, mm -hmm. that, that back up the religion that you, that, that this nation follows. Yes. So, 
Rachel, like, yeah, for me, like, you know, um, it it brings me much, much comfort um, to hear that Trump, you know, that Trump does want to promote like, like religious liberty. Um, even, even if you don't like, you know, I don't, I don't label, label myself a, a religious person per se, okay. in the, you know, in, in the, in the um, sense, sense of being religious. Um, but it is, it is, it is awesome to see like a president champion that not like he's champion like uh, religious liberty. Um, he's championing free speech. And what's so crazy is that that allows us to do this right here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That yeah. allows us to like, like, like cut the mic on the comfort of, 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 of Will's beautiful home. And to, to plop down, to plop, <laughs> to, you, to plop down on these couches, and and be able to like like share our our to share our, our faith openly, yeah. you know, and like so you know so so I don't and so it brings me comfort to know that you know y'all put this he, he put President Trump in the White House, we we have we have the liberty we have the luxury to meet up with each other and to be able to know like this 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 at the at the moment. Is an is an open open carry Bible state. Yes, you know we, we can carry our Bibles wherever you want to go, and you 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 want you, you want people won't look at you like, oh he has a Bible, get him. So so Trump is like he's really like creating this this atmosphere. You know, he, he, all, you know he, even though there is like you know people say, oh you know what 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 is America? Is America Christian? Is America you know is America Jewish? Yes. Is America Islamic? I would I would I would, I would the answer that I would say was is a uh, yes. You know, America is America is this melting pot of of because you have immigrants coming in, and guess what? They bring their religion with them. You have yeah. Buddhists here. You have you have you have everybody here. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, so just so it brings me much much solace, much comfort to know that Trump is like fighting for the rights of people who you know who want to practice their faith openly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I see. <laughs> so, so I know I think. Uh, this is a little bit kind of connect to the question. I, mm-hmm. I think uh, Trump is good for people for the faith, for people come wanting to be in covenant with the Messiah. I think yes. it's mm-hmm. so bad that uh, so much hatred out there that people have to look at the hatred that they try to cover up. Yes. But they say like, I know that there's something better, you know, and and they're yeah, looking exactly. to a higher mm-hmm. source uh, to to figure out what's missing in that life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Versus being distracted like with the Obama ministry. Um, I mean, uh, home ministry or, 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 <laughs> yes. or administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah very true. <laughs> like, like, um, like another point that, that I want to bring up too is that you know, um, so like researching Trump, there's a very interesting guy who, who kept who kept on popping up, Jack Phillips. Mm-hmm. Um, he is he is a conservative Christian baker, and um, you heard yeah. For, and for those of you guys who may know or may not know, um, he's in, he's in Denver, Colorado. And he has this place called the Masterpiece uh, uh, Bakery, right? And so what happened was in like 2012, these two like there was a gay couple that walked in, and and they demanded, well they, they requested that he like cook them, cook them, bake them a cake, a wedding cake. Um, the only thing is, you know, it's a same-sex marriage couple, so plot twist. Mm-hmm. So he was like, um, he's like, you know, he's like, you guys, you can have anything else that you want, um, but this wedding cake though. Uh, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of can't do that for you guys. So that caught wind, and then the media got into it, and then it went all the way up to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. They, it was, um, it was, a, it was a seven-two decision. Um, they voted in, uh, in uh, his um, favor. So, and and then too, like you know, when you go on WhiteHouse.gov, it says that you know that Trump supported Jack Phillips and to to take that stance, mm-hmm. and it said that you know he's not going to compromise, and like the the LGBTQ community can't force him. To violate, well, violate, you know, his his Christian values, mm-hmm. um, and 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 Jack, he said something very interesting too. He was like, you know, um, I I serve everybody. You know, you can walk in. I don't care who you are. He said it's just just that I don't I don't want to make a cake for every message. He even said that you know, like I don't want to make a cake that's like disparaging to the LGBTQ community. Nor would nor would I make a cake that's anti-American or that's or or a, a racist cake. Mm-hmm. So so like. I just find like like just 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 a bunch of shalom to see that we have a president now that's like backing up these people, you know, um, you know, and 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 and, and even though Jack is Christian, like 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 that's 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 my brother because he's standing with um, biblical values, you know. So so yeah, so so Trump stood behind him. So that is that that that, that brings me more comfort to to know that. Yeah, because I don't think that would have flew in the Obama ministry. Oh man, <laughs> can you can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They they lit the White House up rainbow. 
yeah. rainbow yeah. colors. Yeah. And that's you blasphemous. Wow. I don't even get the word blasphemous mixed up, but it's still. Yes. Can you imagine, dude? Crazy. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's hard, but I think it's also important because America is a melting pot, and yeah. all these people are coming in with their own ideas. It's like we can't, we're not. It's going to be almost impossible for us to come to a consensus consensus on faith. Mm. And so it's like, um, unless you just wipe it all together and like replace it with one collective faith. So it's mm. like that. <laughs> that that freedom. Is I was really thinking important. second coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> But, oh, that, okay. but that's, I, that's, 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 I, no, that's true, too. That's very true. Yeah, I, I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I said it a little bit louder. I was making a joke. I was like, or they replace it with Satan. Right. Yeah. First thing you thought was baffling that statue. Yeah. Well, so. I mean, all of this kind of. Mm-hmm. Okay, but. Yeah, true. Very really true. Very really true. But you, you know, what's crazy, Um, just, just, to, just to tag on, on to your last point, Um, so President Trump, he made he made a decree January 16th Um, it is now like Religious Freedom Day. So, like, so again, he's he's pushing this. You know, we can all coexist. Mm-hmm. I don't care um, what you serve, who you serve. Yes. You have the right to practice your faith openly in in America. And and, and to to be honest with you, though, like, I I really don't think that messianics are like even on Trump's radar, though. Like, I don't even <laughs> think he knows what a what messianic is, or like. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, he yeah, he, he may he may know. He does. He does. But it's like you know. So it's like again. He is he's he's like he's he's all in mm-hmm. for you know for. Which, it's so ironic though. He he's he's all in for immigrants, you know, waving their faith flag. But then again, I want the wall. Yeah. So yeah. So you know. But yeah. But but he, so he declared that day. Um. So yeah. So he he he. I just want to highlight that he wants us to be able to be free to to to, to let our faith flag fly. Yeah. He, he said knows. January sixteenth. Yes. He knows at a minimum who the IUIC is. <laughs> <laughs> they were on CNN. Yeah, they were on CNN. Because right. he yeah. supported yeah. the guy that they were yelling at. Oh, 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 oh he did? Nathan, yeah. uh, Nathan Wait, Phillips, the yeah, Indian yeah. guy? Yeah, he... he yeah, he, Trump? No, no. The, Trump supported the kid with the MAGA hat on. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Which one? oh yeah. The, the, like, the guy that was... That was the, the kid that was, that was getting... Smirking? The, yeah, that was smirking. Oh, yeah. Oh, smir- okay, yeah. Oh, smirking Trump, kid. like... He tweeted out something like my, my support to Covington or something of, of that nature. Oh my. Yeah. So he, he knows. So he had, <laughs> it had to be at least mentioned in passing by one of his advisors. Right, like, hey, yeah. check them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were they? Okay. Better yeah. read this book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, read, right? Read, brother. Yeah, we can. Are there any other like executive orders or like legislations that you guys feel specifically um, affect? Um, believers or yes. how they would affect believers in the future yes yes indeed um so there was so and the, the movement has, has kind of like kind of like quieted just a little bit um so the whole march march for lives um a right. uh, 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 movement so basically um trump is pro-life he's pro-life and like he was he was like the um the, the, he, so he was like like very vocal when it came to like 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 allying himself with the March for Lives um, uh, movement, um, like he like you know um, he, he uh, did it like like via satellite. It, it, it was him. It was a uh, vice president uh, uh, Mike Mike Pence, um, who was also like 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 conservative like Christian, you know, like like mm-hmm. like really sticking to scripture. And and so like so Trump was like he, he was just like really like 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 rallying them and and telling these these march march for march for lifers yeah. um to uh to, to, to continue like 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 pushing pro-life um and I, I believe that he he is like passing like um legislation to reverse like like different uh laws that have passed uh, like when obama was in office um as far as like um the uh the whole like you know um like like dealing with like contraceptive and, 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 and things of that nature mm-hmm. um and so yeah so 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 that so so seeing him like like just just really push for pro life and stand with stand with stand with those those young kids too mm-hmm. was uh was 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 a was a was a super cool thing to see yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I mean honestly for me it's crazy enough I don't think I know I think I should follow more of all the executive orders being pushed mm-hmm. I I don't know all I can do is talk right. speculation yeah. 
uh, about like uh, some stuff I've heard, but I, I feel like I, I think have some right here. You want to <laughs> see some him? executive orders? You want to see him? Yeah, yeah, I feel like there, but I thought there was one executive order. I know the Made in America movement is coming soon. I forgot what executive order that was. Made in America. Uh, higher by American, higher American. Yeah, by American, uh, high American. So like uh, made or made in America. So yeah. like the push to have more products made in America versus other countries. So that's yeah. an executive order that he's pushed. Yeah, yeah. he um, mentioned that in the in the address. He was like, we yeah. want we want and made in the USA. Well, that's to hard. Be do though yeah and that and that was in 2017 <laughs> i think like he pushed that one that was, that was a while ago that was a while ago, that was a while ago. That was a long time. that kind of harkens back to what i mentioned way earlier what tucker carlson was talking about mm-hmm. that's he's at least taking a stab at trying to solve the problem of what all of these um other presidents that they you know did. blue-collar workers who are going to be out of work because of automation yeah you know trying to get them some kind of job because automation and that's what you you deal with yeah stop it uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see you making money <laughs> I'm sorry can can help okay so you know uh, not just me doing that <laughs> I know it's not just you it's, it's other it's other United States people doing it too uh, yeah. so you know th- that would help and I think there's one I, I can't, I can't remember because it's a list. It was on Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. Definitely go to, definitely go to Wikipedia and look at all the executive orders. I think they're ninety-four. Um, but on Wikipedia, there was, there's one about like somebody said there was one about uh, the government being able to take control, like you know, uh, you know, martial law, like something around martial law. But mm-hmm. I, I couldn't find out which one. Mm-hmm. I didn't see which one it was. Mm-hmm. The, the executive order. But I think, I, I think as a community. Even though some myself, I don't really vote necessarily for like the president or whatnot. Mm-hmm. We should no, know the executive orders at least. We should know what's coming down mm-hmm. the pipeline. That's right. wisdom to yeah. know what's happening to prepare. Like like five G's coming, right? Yeah. I think we should have like silver meshes over our house and and um, <laughs> somebody should get rid of all of this technology in their house. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Google, you know. But hey. <laughs> So you think the wall is being built to keep us in? <laughs> to keep Mexicans out? I think I think he does both. I think when people try to run, they're not going to be like this. Where did this wall come from? Oh my god! That's, oh, that's hilarious. And they're going to die trying to make the trek away. You know, they're going to go to Mexico, be a whole nother land, and be screwed. <laughs> Can I please read like just a quick few policies that he yeah. has passed about pro life? Uh, within a week of taking office, President Trump reinstated and expanded the Mexico City policy, which protects $9 billion in foreign aid from being used to fund the global abortion industry and its advocates. President Trump cut off taxpayer funding for the UN Population Fund. Um, President Trump also signed HJ uh, Rest 43 into law, overturning a midnight regulation by the Obama administration which prohibited states from defunding certain abortion facilities in their federally funded family planning programs. And there are like, okay, okay, gotta read this one. Um, President, President Obama rescinded an Obama era policy that hindered states in their efforts to direct Medicaid funding away from abortion facilities that violate the law or fail to meet relevant standards of care. So we see him like, like not only just, 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 just talking the talk, but like, Putting putting his fountain pen to the paper and like mm-hmm. signing these into into a uh, power. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think when when I watched uh, his address on the March for Life, I, like I couldn't really I couldn't really tell where he stood. I feel like all the presidents kind of take a side on the whole abortion issue, mm-hmm. and I was surprised to see. I mean, not surprised um, <laughs> because he was. Um, because he's a Republican conservative, I figured he would take that side, but I didn't yeah, know how too. he like personally like really felt on it. Mm. Um, but I on he brought it up again in the State of the Union address, and it was more like like this is something he really stands behind the pro life. Oh, so right. I was like, I was like, okay. Did he but, get a, a thunderous applause? I think it, I mean everything he said. <laughs> there was they were no, like yes, <laughs> thank you, <President>. yes, <laughs> yeah, great. So oh, man, yeah. great, you, great, you. <laughs> Right. Uh, what do you guys? What this will be the last question. Okay. What uh, do you think Trump could be better at? Mm. Ah, great question. What could he be better at? Uh, man. Let's see. Tact. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Tech. Yeah. yeah. I did. Uh, I watched after watching his state, uh, state of the union address. I went back and looked at um, 
I looked at Obama's, and it's like he's definitely like I think Obama oh, was just naive. known though for his like eloquency and like being a good speaker. Night, yeah. yeah. it was so, it was the uh, it was it was night and day. It was it was night, night. and day. Like okay. like a like a. a I feel like a fifth grader would have understood Trump's. I <laughs> <laughs> don't understand Trump's address, but yeah. sitting on Obama's, it'd have been you like, what's the state of address, the one with Keenan Pill? Was um, that the state of address? Did no? they do that? Is that when you did the skit? I think so. Okay, so a kid can understand that too. <laughs> it's just, it's a skit. Like, he did, he did a skit for a whole skit. You know, because <laughs> it was a skit. I mean, Trump, hey, listen to me. Even, like, what's the point of the State of the Union address? What is the point? Um, the, the point of it is to... It's, it's like if you're not watching all year round. Like, this, <laughs> is, your, this right. is your catch-up for... Right, yeah, the point of, of the State of the Union is to give you the state of our union. So, okay. okay. Like, 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 yeah, like, right. It's, 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 like, <laughs> like, 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 how are we doing... He's like taking taking the taking the temperature of America. Like, like, like how... Progress know. report. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 progress report, yes, yeah, for sure, yes, yes. Um, what could President Trump do? What would he do but, better? But as far as the tech, that's what I was gonna say. Like okay. he, uh, he described. I believe he described the Mexicans as, as bloodthirsty monsters. Like, I don't <laughs> remember that quote specifically. Really? Subtle. He did. No, subtle. It was subtle. Not, <laughs> subtle. So, um, yeah. not, not like no talking about all. like <laughs> yeah, like illegal immigrants who are bringing crime and drugs and gangs. But why don't we talk about the CIA though? Why don't we talk about the FBI? Those are the biggest gangs oh, I know. Talk to all of it. See? My name is not Derek. <laughs> <laughs> right. They don't know who I am. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, as far as like what Trump could could do better, um, I I guess that he could engage in like um, try try to create more like bipartisan uh, uh, efforts. You know, try to try to reach across the aisle. Um, you know, um, and seeing 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 Trump, you know, interact with. Republicans, Democrats, um, with with this with this with this uh, uh, constituents with like foreign dignitaries, um, you know he he has his agenda, mm-hmm. and, and and mind you too, like this this is a businessman, and sometimes I really think that he I think that he thinks that America is a business, yeah. mm-hmm. and and like and like he like he like wants to keep it open, um, and but like his his cabinet around him has to constantly remind him that hey man like like you are like you're the president like you're not like like this is this is not a uh, yeah. Trump Tower building right now yeah. <laughs> you know so that so they have to bring him back down to reality um, but I, I really think that what he could do better is like try to try to try to foster more like you know um, bipartisanship um, uh, policies mm-hmm. reach you know reach reach reach, reach across the aisle more, yeah. more. Yeah. I think he can be completely obedient to the word <laughs> and that would be awesome great. And, you walk and, out wearing tassels, and, and then do a tour reading every every oh, every, every Shabbat every Shabbat on national TV. <laughs> yep. That would be awesome. Mm, yep. <laughs> ban MTV. Ban <laughs> ban a few other shows. No, no, I guess that's not taking away freedom of speech. Yeah. So no, no, no. But they could ban that. But I mean, but still, <laughs> ban a lot of shows. But but no, just read have a tour reading. Yes. And make a uh, what was that reading? What was the kids show that was free? That was really popular, like the TV show, like uh, was free, that was really popular. That's right. Sesame Street. Not Sesame, Sesame Street. What was the name of that network? It was PBS. 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 Make okay. PBS public again, like and make it like all biblical. Make, okay. <laughs> yeah. So because that was like make the most PBS influential thing too. So yeah, make it biblical. Refund PBS. Okay. okay yeah. So that's it. Make PBS great again. Here we go. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for today on Rock for a Pillow. Another great episode. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, yes. Thank you, Bremen. <laughs> uh, we also want to say a huge, huge thank you. Thank you we, all. We have thank reached 100 you. subscribers on yes. our YouTube 100. channel. Yes. Yes. Woo! We also have uh, a lot of dedicated followers and, and listeners on all our other platforms, Apple uh, Podcasts, yes. uh, Spotify, Stitcher, Stitcher Podbean, yeah. yes. wherever Podbean you listen, too. wherever you subscribe. The, yeah. Wait, the, the oh, website you, too. You forgot RSS something too. What did I say? So we have Secret Talents <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. She has a beautiful voice. <laughs> exactly. And she didn't want to share it with nobody, but guess what? Next. Where are we go- where are we going to be? Revive. Revive. We're going to be at yeah, Revive. Revive. Autumn, yeah, autumn, autumn singing. Yes. Oh, 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 o
don't want to miss that. And then Kitty and Autumn are going to be making a song. It's going to be a duet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So just look out. There this is, go. hey, you thought this was just about Trump. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 uh, but uh, this is about making a great um, America great make, again. Making America great. Yeah. Again. You know what I'm saying? Through some good oh, old praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. Yeah, follow. Subscribe Hi. too. Yes. Yes. Right. And remember, Hit the bell. And remember to stay praying up. Wow. Yes. Shalom. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can't cut that. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there, Ain't no so way sick. you can cut that. <laughs>